Many times germinal matrix grade 1 hemorrhages resolve and they leave a tiny cystic area which are subependymal cysts which are very commonly picked up in your ultrasounds in the neonatal setting. This is a 32 weeker who was operated for congenital heart disease. There was neurologic deterioration and hence a neuro ultrasound was asked for. High resolution images show a dilated or a distended midline structure filled with echoes not filling on color. This was a thrombosed superior sagittal sinus which is very well seen on this time of flight MR image. The, the findings were confirmed. So this is a, a comparison of normal to abnormal where on your left side you see a beautifully filling normal superior sagittal sinus which is thrombosed in the image to your right side. This case was a neonate in cardiac failure. In the ultrasound you can see a posterior a cystic area which on color filled and showed aliasing lot of color signal and this was a congenital AVM and the child had presented in cardiac failure. Callosal agenesis you get parallel widely spaced out or far placed lateral ventricles which look the, the medial ends look quite parallel and this is because your commissures of probes do not cross over and remain on the same side. On this recital image you can see radial arrangement of the sulci which is the classic sunburst sign. Infections, meningitis, commonest organisms Escherichia coli and streptococci uh, found in, in cases of uh, bacterial neonatal meningitis. You can have hematogenous spread, you can have rupture of amniotic membranes is an intrapartum cause and of course complications like hydrocephalus, venous sinus thrombosis, parenchymal infarcts and abscesses can be followed up. This is a case of ventriculitis wherein you have the ependymal lining looks bright, you have septae and debris inside the lumen of the lateral ventricles, you of course have dilated ventricles there because of the exudates inside. Here again you can see ecogenic lesions in the brain parenchyma which represent fungal granulomas. Uh, this was a case of acute pyogenic meningitis. Here there is widening of the extraaxial space, you can see some septae and some kind of echoes there. So B mode and color Doppler both are extremely useful in the neonatal critical care setting. Cranial ultrasound aids in picking up hemorrhages quickly without shifting the newborn and can diagnose a wide variety of pathologies. Thank you very much. <laughs>